Good evening, folks. Well, it's that time of year again. It's time to go camping. Before we go, I need to install a generator on this rig. After researching Honda and Champion, I went with the Champion. They have a dual fuel machine, which I really like. This thing has electric start, and it also has a true 30 amp receptacle for a camper lead. So I really like that feature a lot. There's no adapters needed. Plug and go. In my research, I found a gentleman, Michael, over at RV Generator Boxes that has been very helpful to me. He doesn't have the box that I need, but he's a world of ideas. Uh, this is a bigger generator than he has boxes for, but I am gonna buy the bracket from him that you see here. And I've got the ideas to uh, install this generator, mount it to the back of the bumper, on my camper. So first, the generator shows up. Rocky checks it in, of course. That's his duty. Good shop dog there. He accepts it. It's all good to go. It does come with a manual. Very well packaged, I must say. Mm -hmm. A few accessories, a funnel, a uh, propane line, some things you're going to need. Wrapped in plastic. This thing does weigh 100 pounds. So we'll get positioned here and lift this thing out of the box and show it to you. This generator is meant to be portable. It has a nice sturdy handle, some nice rubber wheels. So let's take a closer look at the controls on this machine. Top left hand corner in the yellow. If you move the selector to the top left hand corner, you'll be running propane. If you move it down to the right, It'll be running gasoline. Right in the middle, you'll see a red button. That's the electric start. It does have a pull start too, but uh, I like the fact that it also has a 30 amp uh, camper receptacle and a couple of 110 receptacles. So I turned it over to see how best to mount this mounting plate that's gonna mount to my bumper. I removed the pads that were there and also removed the wheels just to set that mounting plate right down on top of it and sort of see what it's going to take to mount it. It actually fits on there pretty good, although it's not made for this generator. I think with a couple mods, we can make this work great. I tried a couple of isolators there that came off of the machine, kind of an approach to see how that might work because the wheelbase is too wide. But I did determine that if I just took the wheels off and made a slight modification, I could narrow the wheelbase and it would still fit that bracket. That's what I'm doing now. So just a, uh, a little bit of removal of the inside of that wheel and we'll have a narrower wheelbase by about an inch. And that's about what we need between the two of those wheels. So I modified both wheels the same way, very simple. And here they go. Wow, fits on there perfect. So next, we will install the generator into this new box. This box does open at the top and also has the front that comes down uh, as well. So hope you enjoyed this video. Come along for the ride. This ought to be a fun project, and we'll catch you on the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, or dissent. You've been watching the Junkyard Tailgate channel. Good day.